Thank you. Hey, welcome to a very special video on the Aerophone Pro. I am super, super excited to be opening this right now. This is an instrument I've wanted for a very long time. The Aerophone AE10, the first one was really mind-blowing in, in what Roland was producing and now after many generations they have a pro model and I figured now would be the perfect time to get into the wind synthesizer world as a saxophone player I'm stoked so let's do it Wow look at this. I am so excited We have this awesome case. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. This is so cool. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh man, this thing is sweet. Wow. So shiny. Wow. This is like surreal right now. Interesting key feel. Definitely gonna have to get used to that. So I'm wondering if there's anything else in this front pocket. Looks like we got some manuals, documentation, USB-C to USB, cable. Wow. This case is really nice. It's good. It's not it's not a super hard case, but it's definitely gonna protect the instrument. Let's see what we got here. Charging. Got it. That's all that's in here. I will definitely be registering this. Set the bike control before playing this instrument. What is bike control? Wow. This is a thick manual. I have some synthesizers and this is one of the thickest manuals I've seen. All right, me from the future here, there are not that many pages in this manual, there are just many languages, but uh, about 15 to 20 pages of configuration documentation here. Um, YouTuber Alistair Parnell has lots of great videos on how to set this thing up, so check that out if you're looking for more info. All right, I have this turned on and I'm getting ready to play. Abigail is here, ready to go. So I'll be trying this out just with the onboard speakers for my initial test, but obviously headphones are the way to go. Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, I gotta plug in headphones. Wow, the expression you can get is really, really cool. So these are the octave buttons. This is where my left thumb is. This is one octave up, two octaves up, one octave down, two octaves down. So it's really, really cool to just switch like that.
So on the soprano sax sound, and I assume other saxes, if you if you blow just very lightly, you get some of that true wind going through the instrument sound. Thank you.